Hey and welcome to our new week in the AMG on Spa. The car is a solid pick on this track even after the last time model patches. That's why I want to use this intro for a reminder. Don't forget to keep an eye on the temperatures when you practice, because Spa is one of the tracks where high temperatures have a big impact on the lap time. If you want to know exactly where you are in terms of pace, you should always run a full practice session and compare yourself to cars which drove their laps in the same conditions. There's lots ahead of us, so let's jump right into the lap. Turn 1 offers an opportunity for overtakes on the inside, but when you are not in a battle you want to approach it from the outside. Your brake markers are the dirt spots on the track and the 100 meter board on the left. You want to aim for a smooth, tight run around the apex and hit the throttle as early as possible. Be careful when you accelerate, depending on the conditions and state of your tires it can be easy to spin here. A rouge can be tricky for beginners, but once you know the line it's quite easy to hit. You want to stay in the throttle all the way up the hill, and to achieve this you have to use the full track. Position the car on the far right and aim for the first curb. The trick is to attack the first curb and use as much of the track as possible to get a good angle for the uphill right hander. If you stay too far on the right here, your angle becomes too steep and you will have to lift. Stay on the inside all the way up the hill, but avoid going too hard on the curb. It's quite high and will give your car a push to the left, so that you will have to lift or catch an incident point at the top. The car can get a bit loose here. If you have any troubles to follow this line or face difficult conditions, I'd recommend you to change the gear you're using. You don't have to shift up on the previous straight and stay in fifth gear up to this point. Once you feel safe enough and know the limits of the car, you can always try to push further and take it in the sixth gear. The next marker is the curb on the left side. There's also a white line on the track, which you can use for orientation if you end up on the inside during an attack. The AMG is one of the strongest GT3s on the straight, and if you want to attack, this is the best spot for you. Attack the curb and accelerate briefly to push the car further to the right. You want the right entry into the next left hander to prepare a good run onto the short straight. Lift before you turn in, attack the curb and hit the throttle again to push the car to the far left. You want to exit this turn on the middle left of the track. That way you get a great setup for the last right hand of this combination and you will be able to take it almost flat out. Avoid the curb on the left side, it's steep and for some reason it's impossible to hit it without losing the rear since the last patch of the tire model. Just avoid it. The curb on the left helps you again to find your braking point. Point the car towards the next apex while braking and trail brake deep into the turn. You want to be patient on the throttle here and engage it slowly only when you know that you will hit a clean exit. Tap the brakes to adjust your speed for the next corner and try to carry as much momentum as possible onto the straight. The turn is easier if you don't hit this outside curb, because, like before, the tires tend to stick to it, which can make the car difficult to handle. This spot is popular to trade incident points for pace. In the race it's possible to trade one incident point for a few tenths by going onto the curb and carrying more speed onto the straight. It's up to you if you want to use it. Many people tend to abuse this curb, for example to stay in slipstream range if they are about to drop out. The curb and the orange mark are happy to find your braking point. You want to tap the brakes slightly and keep your speed at the limit. Touching the curb to get a wider and faster entry is possible, but again, you have to be a bit careful because the curb is steep and the tires tend to stick to it. The bridge and the curb on your left are your next markers. In most cases it's not worth it to shift into the highest gear. Hit the brakes hard at the beginning of the braking zone and slowly release them while you enter the turn. 
Attack the curb and engage the throttle to push the car further to the right. Once you have a right angle for the second turn, you want to step on it and accelerate out of this combination. Point the car towards the curb and use it as orientation for braking. You want to use additional space on the entry to carry more speed into the turn and onto the straight. Approach Blanche more from the far right. How you can take it depends on your car and the conditions. Ideally you want to stay on the throttle or lift just a little bit before you turn in. We are heading towards the last chicane. The white line and the dirt spots help you one last time to hit your braking point. The most important thing is to enter the chicane at the limit of your car. It's easy to underdrive the turn because it's slow, it's the end of the lap and you just want to finish it already. But this can cost a lot of time. You can lose easily a half second here if you relax too much, so stay focused and approach it from the far left. Attack the entry curb, give the car a small push for a good entry into the exit, attack the second curb as well and accelerate towards the finish. I hope you learned something new. The cockpit lab with telemetry will come up next. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below or hop onto the Discord and join our awesome community. You will also find links to all sorts of tools, databases and much more there, so it's worth checking out. I wish you good luck for the next week and see you next time.